The time loop was severed at last. Yay! The endless struggle that raged over 2,000 years had ended and... Peace prevailed once more. Nifty. Ah, it's a different version of that song. It's pretty much one of my favorite songs in video games now is that Cornelia Town song. The light of the four crystals restored the forces of wind, water, earth, and fire. Isn't that a band? Earth, wind, and fire. I don't think we need to get them back together. I think it was a disco band. It was a mere trick of fate that had given rise to the Chain of Garland's Wrath. So I wonder how long they were in that time loop then. It kind of made it sound like quite a while, possibly. But magnified by the four... F what? But magnified by the four forces meant to guide our world, that trick of fate also gave birth to the fiends. This is going to be a real lengthy explanation, isn't it? Perhaps, perhaps not. Monsters ran rampant and the world sank into darkness. Yeah, we remember that. But I have saved the world now, have I not? This is the final fantasy too, so it's sure it's safe forever. But all that is now past. I wish they'd show something different in the uh, background. We've been looking at those trees for a while. It's pretty though. With the four forces flowing as they were meant, the warriors prepared to cross time and return to the world that they knew. A world where Princess Sarah, we remember her, Queen Jane, and even Garland himself await. So, Garland is cool now? Yeah, I guess he must be, because I don't know. Broke the time loop paradox thing. When was this fateful day that sent time spiraling into a loop? You're not going to answer that question, are you, game? You aren't, are you? None can say. Yeah, I figured you wouldn't answer that. Seems like the sort of thing you'd do to be mysterious. Is this coming to a point? It seemed the cycle into which time had fallen would last forever. But the bravery of four young travelers changed that. They took... The forces that filled the world with darkness and used them to bathe the world in light. Aww. Thus, they became the warriors of light, I'm sure. So he did call us that. I will probably re reiterate that right now, I'm sure, too. None will ever recall the struggle the four endured. Well, that kind of sucks. For the breaking of the chain means that it never existed. Well, that is a real bummer. So they did all that awesome stuff. Do they remember? I wonder if they remember. But within the tales of fantasy that people tell, the memory of their deeds lives on. Ah. Well, that's actually not a terrible little epilogue thingy. I kind of wish there was something more going on in the background than that. Tales of dwarves and elves, of dragons and shining civilizations that reached for the heavens even as they fell. 
Yeah, Final Fantasy definitely came up with elves and dragons and stuff. Yeah. Uh huh. And now the return is upon us. Alright, you're telling me that the return is upon us. Let's have them return. With the memory of their struggle buried deep in their hearts, they will quietly watch over our world. So they don't exactly remember. They kind of know, like they have a knowing look. They, When they look at each other, that's, they did something pretty amazing, I guess. But they don't actually remember. That's That's kind of sad. Remember always that the forces of the world must be used as they were intended. That the power of light must never be used for dark and that the true crystals reside in your heart. They reside in my heart? That's good news. Although that might cause heart issues too. For you are the warrior who crossed time. That was it was me, for sure. No one else has ever done that before either. It's an amazing accomplishment. You are the bringer of light. Well, oh, they're really appealing to to the player here pretty hard. All the birds. And it just kind of peters out there. Yep, it's going to the credits, I guess. Well, all in all, I actually really enjoyed this. This game was way before my time. Um, are they going to have more things? Nope, there's just credits. So, uh, yeah, this game was like way before my, my gaming time. I... I didn't really start playing video games until the Nintendo 64, so um, I had an NES at one point that I got used or whatever, and uh, just never played any of these games. Like I said, I played Final Fantasy X a little bit, probably like, I don't know, 10 hours, or it was a fair amount, I, I really don't know. That was a really long time ago. So it's a little hard for me to, to really remember um, how much of that I played, but it's always been a series, of course, that I've heard a lot about because it's one of the bigger series in gaming, and I think rightfully so, of course. I'm not going to argue that. And most people prefer, like, I guess, Final Fantasy VII, which, again, I never had a PlayStation um, until way later. I own that game now, but uh, when I was a kid, I didn't have a PlayStation. I, had, I was a Nintendo kid when I was growing up, so... I pretty much only had Nintendo systems until, um, well, until the PlayStation 2, so one generation of consoles, I guess, but, um, yeah, all in all, uh, you know, of course the combat's repetitive, it's a really old game, so I kind of can forgive that. Modern JRPGs still have kind of repetitive combat a lot of the time. Uh, it's a genre that I've played some games in, I'm not going to claim I'm an expert or anything like that, of course, but, um... It's kind of neat to see where a lot of that stuff got its start in this game, and I think this PSP version is really quite good. Um, the PSP is actually a really awesome system still. I have a lot of games that I haven't played for it that I want to. Um, I, I really like the PSP. There's a lot of Japanese RPGs that are available on it. Um, a lot of older games that have been ported to it. It's, it's a pretty cool thing. Um, Kind of looks like those might be the original effects from the NES in the background of those credits. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, all in all, uh, I definitely would recommend this game. It's long and a little bit repetitive. But if you played it, especially on a handheld console like the PSP, just like on the bus or whatever, it's, it, you know, you'd get through it eventually, and it's not too bad. It's not the kind of thing I just sit down and play. This took me probably, like, I remember when I started recording this, like six months ago, probably. So, it took me a long time to get through it. It's going to be more than a hundred parts. Um, I was still doing ten minute se sections when I started this, so all throughout this series I did ten minute um, section, you know, episodes of the game. So, 
Um, now I do usually do 15 minute parts, so this probably wouldn't have taken quite as many episodes to get through. I'm not going to go back and finish the extra chaos stuff that's been added in, because it's largely just redundant at this point. It's pretty much just fighting more bosses and stuff, which I have had enough of. Um, I guess Final Fantasy II has more of a story. So I'm kind of excited to play through that, because uh, it'd be kind of nice to have a little bit more of a story. And like I said, I get to see all these games develop over time. I'm probably going to play through Final Fantasy X HD when it comes out on the on the PS3. I don't know if I'll get to it right away necessarily, because, I don't know, there's something kind of appealing about just playing through each of the games in this series. Of course, I'll skip the MMOs, I think, specifically 11. 14 I'm kind of interested in, but I don't have time to be playing in an MMO right now. But uh, anyways, if you've watched this series, I really appreciate it. It's been a long haul, and I want to thank everybody who's watched any of these videos. If you liked any of them, uh, please leave a like on this video. I really appreciate that as well. Comments, of course, are always appreciated. And most of all, if you'd subscribe, I would really appreciate that. It helps the channel grow, helps me get more views, makes me keep on doing this pretty much. That's why I do this, because I like getting the interaction and the comments and stuff. So I want to thank you all. And I will catch you in the next game. Thanks for watching.